Okay, so what we're trying to illustrate here is with the rifled barrel, um, we set these up so they can be used for breaching doors and other, other things that require accuracy. So with the rifle barrel, this is what you're seeing. Um, the first two were actually were through the same hole practically. The third one was slightly, slightly off by about a quarter of an inch. But the, uh, this is what the rifled barrel does. Now we will do it with an unrifled barrel to demonstrate the difference. Cycle. Okay, so this is the 12 gauge smoothbore that we're gonna use. All right, go ahead. Just for clarity, you're aiming at that bottom target? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you're aiming at that target. So the thing to notice, this is almost a perfect profile of the slug hitting sideways. That is what the slug is actually shaped like. Uh, these are key hold also. He was aiming here and they're hitting here. So uh, we, we get asked a lot, can these be fired from a smooth bore? The answer is yes, they can be fired from a smooth bore and probably at home defense ranges, um, you're gonna um, hit what you're shooting at. Um, but they're not going to hit tip first. Now this is the PhD 250. We know the PhD 250 won't hit straight, um, hit straight nose, nose first, which is required to get them to work correctly. But these, this group is the difference between a rifle barrel with the exact same slug. So rifle barrel aiming at this. This is the, the smooth bore aiming here. They all hit here. And that's the shape. And they're, they're hitting sideways. Yeah. So this is what happens if you use a smooth bore with the PhD 250. 